When you play holiday golf, sometimes you'll pay to take your own clubs, sometimes you'll pay for rentals, and if you play with Chris, well, we just stole them. Let's do it. Hi everyone, James Robinson here. If you're new to the channel and this is your very first time watching my content, first of all, welcome to the channel. Second of all, please make sure you do consider hitting that subscribe button before you leave. That way, you won't miss any of the great golf related content that we bring to them every single day, Chris. Isn't that right? Every single day. Every single day. Chris, welcome back to the channel. We are out here at the Ells Club in Dubai, Troon International Course. And well, we've, um, we've, stole, we've stolen some clubs. Yep, it's a regular occurrence. I don't often have my own clubs, so no. I might as well continue the trend. As you all know, if you did watch our What's in the Bag War from the other day, Chris, um, yeah, doesn't have his own golf clubs. So today we didn't even bother bringing golf clubs. We have stolen them off Joe Marshall. Joe is a PJ pro here based at the Ells Club for the Claude Harmon the Third Academy. And these are what we are playing with. Is it a full bag of Cobras? Full enough, I've hit an absolute beauty there. Hey, Chris has just leaked to the right, but it kicked back in off a rake up there somewhere. And look at these, these actually look, I've not reviewed these, but they look beautiful. How far have we got, Chris? 119. 119, so I'll go with, you know the stolen pitching wedge. Full enough, these are the same shafts that I use, so I shouldn't have too many excuses. They are black, though. Nice flight. Thank you. Just hit that crow. Thank you. Right, Chris, you've got a little bit less, more like 100 yards. What are you going with? Same club? Same club, a little lighted one. A little bit short. So guys, as always, it's imperative to me that you are a part of my videos and by that, I want you to hit those comments below. In this video, I want you to comment below what do you do when you play holiday golf? Do you rent clubs? Do you buy clubs? Do you take your own clubs? Or do you just steal clubs? Steal clubs. <laughs> Putter in the bag underneath the European Ryder Cup head cover. We have the Odyssey Works one wide. Beautiful put of that as well. Chris has come up short, so he's going to have a chip. Well, how's that for a shot? Go! Greens are so receptive here at the Ells Club, it's frightening. As we are playing holes 7, 8 and 9 here at the Ells Club, we've been shooting here all day for a new series that we're bringing to you guys in 2020, so stay tuned for that. The pace, I'll give you that. The best put I've hit all week with Joe's putter. So guys, you might all know that I have been struggling in these matches recently. I can't remember the last time I won, so it would be nice to get one on the board. We've surprised Chris with the game, tried to catch him by surprise. This for the half. Just got it as well. Never in doubt. <laughs> <laughs> Just when you think you've got off to a great start. Ah. In, flag out, flag in. Work to three. Eight hole, par five, 562 yards. It's gonna have to be the stolen driver, which is. We've definitely told you on the first hole, it is a Cobra F9 Arctic Edition. I think that's what it's called. Joe might not get this back. Um, that might be finding its way back to Rotherham, Chris, that. Rotherham. What do you think to that, Chris, as opposed to the normal F9 with the yellow one? I prefer the white, to be fair. No, I like, uh, yeah, I do like that better. It's not as bright. Not as bold, is it? You're not a very yellow kind of guy. No, I'm very... But then it doesn't really go with Joe's bag, does it? So obviously Joe's got the big Cobra Tour bag, and then the white head doesn't go, Joe, mate, I'm sorry. But 
Weight setting in the front as well, so he's obviously a player. Beautiful golf course, it's very Jamira like, earth course like even. Oh. Two balls in the fairway. That's got to be me up there, Chris, has it? And you're 50 yards between us again. I was a Titleist 3. Yep, unfortunately, that is me. Ace it out for us. How far we got? 250 yards oh. left into the par 5. Just count it out. All right, mate, you enjoy. Right, 250 yards. You do not want to go right. Hmm. Hanging lie as well. We'll go with. We'll go with whatever this is, it's a, it's a hybrid, 17 degrees, it's got these bafflers in as well, so if I fat it, it should still work. 36! 36! 36. You're not safe there, move! That's a terrible golf shot. Chris has got about 210, it's uh, carts only up to here, this could be a good one for him. Oh, that slides in. Beautifully as well. Is that up? Two yards oh, that's a shame. You should have hit it 38 yards past. So I think we both need sand wedge, wherever that is. 54. Have you not got a 58? No. Not a 60? Well, they will have it. It's the back of the gap. You joke. You've not nicked all of them. Just half. How are we them. supposed to get on with just that? Half a text. Well, if you're a good player, you can use any club, but James, we know your short game half is dubious. Job. Well, new name for Chris, half a job Dennis. That is the last time I asked him to steal a set of golf clubs from a friend. Yeah, all the way back there, James. Oh, I am, aren't I? Yeah, you can you do the... You might need a pitch in my job. You can do the... No. Uh, I wouldn't have been bothered about the love wedge. Just keep... Oh, just, long way back, isn't it, huh? just keep going. Well, you back here. Look at him. It's not a jog that, it's more of a waddle. Ooh. Bit of a yarser. Little bit heavy from James there. No tailor-made MG2, is it, there? It's a long walk of shame, because it's still him. I'm there. Still James to play. Ooh, he's played one. He has played a cracker. Right then, Chris, nothing special. Mm, very good. Right. I've got a feeling I might need this for the half. Me too. Funny how games swing so quickly in golf. Keep swinging the wrong way for you, James. Oh, well read, well read, sir. I think I struggle with picture books at the minute. Is that good? Oh, plenty of chicken left on that one. That's a DQ. Right, two for the hole. Thank you very much. That's a gimme. Are <laughs> you giving yourself that? I am. <laughs> Go on then. One up, one to play. Hell's club. One down again. I'm just waiting for the excuses to build. Uh, Not his clubs, didn't have a 58. You don't need a 58 from 120 yards away, James. <laughs> You've played it before, I haven't. How's that? Oh, that's another one. <laughs> Let me guess, you had a big lunch. Yeah, Eggs Benedict actually, it was lovely. Good food in the clubhouse here at Elf's Club, very, very good. We'll take positives from the day, it's been a great day. We didn't need to film this video. It might not go out, we might not put this out, we'll see what happens. I won't be surprised, it's a common occurrence. <laughs> you uh, filled your water up, have you, though? Oh, well, yeah. I'll, uh, I'll just die first, so... I'll have your legs broke, right, what would you last no sleep die of? Right guys, ninth hole, here at the Elf's Club. Lengthy par four, what a hole this is. Look at the beautiful clubhouse up there as well. Right, looking like big dog again. This is three hits with the Cobra F9. What's your line, Chris? Is your line just right at that tree? No. Over the bunker? Yeah. Your line is the right half of the clubhouse. I've got it. Well, 
that's P. That's that's not right inside of the clubhouse. Well, it is right of the clubhouse. That way. Look uh, this. Where you find her. They even left you a tea. It's, oh, a, it's a winning tea, is that? That's a good life. It's long enough. It'll be long enough. See? Ooh, it's short enough. <laughs> I've got to say guys, what a beautiful golf course this is, Ells Club in Dubai. I definitely think, I don't know if you agree with me here Chris, but a lot of the clubs in Dubai, unless they host a big tournament, DP World, even down in Abu Dhabi for the HSBC, they don't really get the recognition they deserve unless they've held that, whereas there's clubs like this at the Ells Club, which are absolutely beautiful, but because they haven't held it, no one really has heard as much about them. Yeah, I mean, it's a fantastic club. It's in very good condition uh, pretty much all year round. But like you say, because it doesn't hold one of the big events, it's more of a members club. Yeah. Uh, it doesn't get the uh, recognition it should, uh, should Anyway, enough about that because this is, a, this is a big moment. This I'm just in the rough here. Chris has somehow jumped back into the fairway. He must have hit like kind of that tree off that one, then that one, then that one, and then hit in. But do you want to hold and do the honours, Chris? 172. This is a James Robinson special where he thinks he can hit a six iron further than he actually can. Well, go five because usually you are right. He's this was a European tour caddy, if you don't know. Finally gone for the correct clubbing. If this goes long, then I'm going to throw this at you. Uh, as a friend, I would say I wouldn't go at the flag because it all falls away to a very difficult shot. So I'd be going at the tree to the left. Like the smallest 5 I've ever seen in my life. So he's started on a very good line, a good strike, and for once he's pin high, folks. Yes. The correct club, he does not hit it as far as he thinks. Yes! Yes! I'll see you over at mine, which is closer. Right, Chris, 173 yards. I think you can probably go. Could you go seven here? Correct. Seven iron is the weapon of choice. And how lucky has he got with that? Div it there. Div it there. And he's found that lie. Very good. Well, they would be unlucky if it finished in it, wouldn't it? So. Luck favours the brave. Right. Middle of the green gets the win. Oh my god. I mean it's muy peligroso. <laughs> <laughs> oh the other worst thing is. Any club, still a wizard. <laughs> the worst thing there is he's called middle of the green, sliced its absolute <laughs> off, and it's gone to about five foot, so well done. This is a family channel, James. Well done. <laughs> Well, I'll tell you what, guys, as well, I bet you don't get too many sh better shots than that into this 9th hole. I keep wanting to say 18th hole. Does anybody else see that clubhouse remind them of Sawgrass, the players? It does me. Right, so, I, who's this? Do you reckon this is you, Chris? No, I think your 5 iron was a bit lower flight. I'm a 3. I'm a 2. Yeah, that's... Ah! See, when you know it, you know it. Look at that for a shot Chris has played in, then, to be fair. Right, my honour then. Bit of a downhill slide. Still me. Yeah. Still you, as usual. I'm going to put this out there now. If I'd have hit six iron, I'm closer. If you hit six iron, guys, if you look at this slope here, this slope, it is a very steep gradient. It would have just been down there. And we know six what, iron. And we know what six his chipping is like. Here. And releases up to the hole. We know what his chipping's like. <laughs> Just outside right. Uh, I can't. I mean, I've already guided you in with the right club. Do you want me to hit it for you as well? Good effort. Ooh. Pacey, pacey. That could be two five guys, unless I de green it in a row. We're playing for five guys now. That's got to be said, the greens are quick. That beep if the greens are quick. Oh, stop. See what, well, this isn't going to be easy. He needs to be aiming at my ball almost here. Oh, 
play to the dustbin lid for victory. Thank you very much, James. Two five guys, large Cajun fries. You better believe it. Guys, <laughs> as always, thank you so much for watching. I'm starting to wonder if I'll ever win on my own channel again. I've even played him twice in the last two days. I still haven't won and actually I'm not playing bad golf so well done to the people who are coming on the channel and winning because they're playing very well. You're playing the best thing I've ever seen you play in a long time. Oh well when you've got it. Especially with it. the Cobra clubs what were your thoughts on those? Cobras could be the future. Could be the future. Big thanks to the guys here at the Ells Club for having us. A fantastic facility, fantastic golf course. Big thanks to Joe for the golf clubs as well. Um, I think he knows we've got them. He doesn't and he's watching this. And the golf balls, yeah, we stole the golf balls off him as well. So I'll even put the head cover back on there for him like that. And chances are, you'll never even know. <laughs>